This is Adam P. Ledger on the ETBU Sports Network here with head football coach Joshua Ergel. Coach, this week you go back on the road against Louisiana College for your second American Southwest Conference game. Talk about getting ready for the Wildcats and heading to Louisiana. Yeah, it's a, it's a big game for us, Adam. It's uh, it, it's our next game, obviously, which is always the biggest game of the year. And uh, it's against our rival in Louisiana College. It's a battle for the claw. And uh, so it's a lot of bra bragging rights right here. You got like Texas, Louisiana. You got ETBU versus Louisiana College. Um, go head to head in a lot of recruiting. And uh, Saturday night, we're going to go head to head on the field. Talk about your players of the week from the Howard Payne game this week and who got offense, defense, your special teams, and the awards you gave out to the team this week. You bet. Um, on offense, we're really proud of the way um, a lot of guys played. But Kendra Robertson uh, did a phenomenal job of, um, of rushing for 182 yards and on 21 carries and um, several touchdowns and did, did a really good job for us offensively. Uh, defensively, uh, we we really bragged on Hardy Hill. He's leading the team in tackles, does a great job. Uh, but we played a lot of man uh, in, a lot of, in certain situations this past week, and Hardy did a good job of locking down some of their good receivers they had uh, for Howard Payne. And then in special teams, we recognized three guys, R.J. Hester for his coverage, uh, Dylan Bowman for his heads-up play on a couple on two really big special teams plays, uh, and, and Delonzo Freeman um, and some of his kick returns. Had a long of 51 and just had around 92 return yards. Did a really good job for us. Uh, there in the team, and then, and then getting us ready for that game and our scout team awards. Uh, uh, we recognized the scout team offensive line. I mean, just all of them. We couldn't pick one of them out because they're they're running two huddles at our defense, trying to get us ready every week. And I uh, did a great job with that. Zeke Porter on the defensive side really helped our offensive line get ready uh, for what Howard Payne had to had to offer a defensive end position. And then Jeremy Porter did a great job of giving us looks on on the special teams and, and really on a lot of the coverage units and getting us work. You had a game against Howard Payne this last weekend. Talk about the heartbreaking loss to them and uh, recap uh, the game against the Yellow Jackets. Well, you know, for the second week in a row, we, we've got to learn as a football team, our next step is, is, is finishing close football games. Um, really like the way we come out. Really like the, the position we're, we're, we've been in the, the past two games at halftime. We do a really phenomenal job. This week, what was better about this week is that we really responded in the third quarter and um, did a much better job. But we just allowed them to kind of keep chipping away and allowed them to hang around. And a good football team knows how to finish a game and how to put the other team away. And we haven't done that yet. And that's kind of our next step we need to take. And we need to take it quickly um, and so we can get some the ball rolling back in the wind column, so to speak. Um, love this team, how resilient they are. Love their hard work. Love their perseverance. Um, love going to work every day. These guys are a great group of guys to go around them. But for us to take the next step as a football team, as a football family, we've got to finish games. And, and hopefully they'll start for us this week. Um, uh, I, again, because that's, that's really our next step as a program and as a team this year to really identify and really define who we are as Tiger football in 2014. All right, Coach, thanks for talking to us on the ETBU Sportsnet.